Hello everyone, today I've decided to do a bit of a comparison video for you and the comparisons are between UK covers and US covers. Now when I was looking at the covers I'm going to show you today I didn't expect it to go the way it did. I thought I would prefer a lot more of one place's covers to the other but that's not actually happened. I will obviously explain more at the end about that though. I've seen this video done on a few people's channels and I really really liked it so I thought I would give it a go myself and just see how it went and like I said it didn't go the way I expected it to go which was quite a surprise but a good surprise in a way. So the first book I'm going to show you is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. This is the UK cover and then this is the US cover. I really like how vibrant the US cover is, but on the UK cover I like the writing, the typography and the colours more. Even though I like how vibrant the US one is, I think I prefer the colours on this one. I also really really like the little image at the bottom of this book. It just gives the cover that little bit more and I just think it's a really sweet little image at the bottom. I've not actually read this book yet so I can't say whether the cover on this one is better for the story inside or whether the cover here is better for the story inside but overall I do think I prefer this cover from not reading it. So yeah, it is the UK cover that has won this one. The second book I'm going to show you is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Now this is the UK cover and this is the US cover. This was a no-brainer for me at all. I definitely preferred the UK cover. However, I do actually like how simple the US cover is. I just didn't particularly like how bright it is. I just prefer this one a lot more. And the reasons for preferring this one mostly is the typography with the title and also all of the little words and sentences in the background of this one. I really, really like that. I also like the images in the top corners, which the US cover has as well, which was really good. But yeah, this cover is definitely, without any brain work whatsoever, this one is the better one. As I just found the US one way too plain. And the third book I'm going to show you is Paper Towns by John Green. I love this book. It was a great book and it reminds me of when I went to LA as I read this on the plane on the way there. Now this one I found a lot more difficult to decide which cover I preferred. So this is the UK one and this is the US one. I really like how simplistic the US cover is and how kind of clean and neat it looks. And I also really like the map on the US cover as well with the little pin sticking into the map. I really, I really like that about it. However, on this cover, I do really like the actual paper town. I think that is so nice. But I just find this cover a little bit chaotic and I'm not a one for chaos when it comes to book covers. I like it being quite simplistic, which doesn't really make sense for Perks of Being a Wallflower because that one obviously had writing all over it. But this one I just feel looks a little bit chaotic and then I look at the US cover and it just seems really like neat and tidy. So I think for this one I do prefer the US cover. The next book is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. This is the UK cover and this is the US cover. Now the UK cover for me I really like the full phone. I like how it's not just the receiver like it is on the US. And I also really like how the writing is inside the phone whereas on the US cover it's not. I do, however, really like the colours on the US cover. I think I prefer the colours on the US, like the greys, better than I prefer this one. So really, again, this was kind of a mix, but I think I do prefer the UK one more because of the writing being in the phone and it being the whole phone. But yeah, if I could mix the two together, I would put the colours of the US one onto here and then have the pictures on this one and the writing on this one like it is. But for this one, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for the UK cover. And the final book I'm going to show you is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is the UK cover and this is the US cover. So I really like the fact that the US cover has the circus in the hand. I think that looks really effective. However, I just think the circus looks a little bit too small on the US cover, whereas on this one, although this actual circus isn't on it, the people on the front are really vibrant and kind of in your face. However, it is in black and white, which usually you would think when you think of vibrant, you would think of bright colours and things. This isn't, but it just stands out really well. 
I also like the tiny bit of red on the front cover as well, whereas on the US cover there's a little bit more red and I just think having that one tiny bit of red works better. I prefer the writing size of the UK cover as well for the title, I think on the US cover it's just a little bit small. And also about the people on the UK cover, they kind of set this time era and you can really feel the kind of time era that it's set in because of the clothes they're wearing, whereas you don't get that on the US cover. So overall for the Night Circus, I do think I prefer the UK cover, however they are, they are pretty similar to be fair, but I just think there's more things on this cover that I preferred to the US cover. So going back to the beginning when I said that the video kind of went a different way than I expected it to, this is because I thought I would prefer a lot more US covers to the UK covers. Turns out that's not really the case and there's a lot of UK covers I'd much prefer than the US ones. Some of these were kind of hard to decide between but there was some that were pretty much hands down definitely preferred one to the other. Let me know in the comments below which covers you prefer from the ones I've chosen as I'd love to know that too and also where you're from as well so if you're from the US and you prefer a lot more of the UK covers then let me know or vice versa or you're from the UK and you prefer a lot more of the US covers or UK covers, you know what I'm getting at then let me know because that'd be really cool to see who prefers what and what people have as well so that is it for this video, thank you for watching if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, as always. And subscribe if you like it too, that would be really cool. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!